Hey guys, this is D Flash, and we're back this week with another video. This week we're going to take a look at Spectrum and how we can use it to analyze our mix and uh, fix any issues we might have in our mixes or mix down. So what we're going to do is first drag it onto our master channel. And we're going to play this track I've been working on. And we'll take a look at what the different options do. So what we've got here is block, which c controls how many, how large the block it's analyzing. The smaller, the more accurate it is, and the faster it's updating, but the more CPU it uses. Channel chooses which channel it's analyzing. Uh, left and right, just right, just left. Refresh is how fast it refreshes. And average is how many blocks it can average together to give you a more smooth analysis, which also can be more realistic of how your ears actually hear the sound. Graph changes it from uh, just the line to the um, to these ba bars. And max turns off the, um, this is your maximum amplitude for every frequency. You see how that updates. And scale changes it um, to a linear scale. And then you can even change it to your uh, semitones so you can actually look at it through the, through the scale that way and then as you mouse over you can see that it'll show you the frequency number and the semitone it's on and the amplitude you're hovering over auto changes the amplitude scaling if you change it back to range you can adjust it yourself and that's uh, spectrum and then also you can um, break it out by hitting that little arrow or triangle up here and that will give you a larger display. And that's spectrum. Now what I also like to do is have a spectrum on each channel that I'm working with. So for that, that comes in handy like when you have this synth here. Oops, not that one. Yeah. No, it is that one. So now before we cut off the lows, you can see that there's some activity there and what I like to do is just try to find I like to just give the lows to the bass and the kick and everything else um, comes in where the main part of activity is going on for that sound so like for this one we see that most of the sound is occurring at the 500s so we'll just cut off any lows so you can see here and then we did a similar thing with or we can do a similar thing with the pads so you can see here with the pads there's some activity happening in the lows that we don't need even as low as um 150 Hertz for a pad you really don't need that so what you can do to give your you want to give as much energy for your lows to your bass and your kick and anything else that happens down in the low end is going to use up some of the energy from those two things 
So what we try to do is just cancel out or filter out anything that doesn't need to be there. So for this pad, you see that there's a lot going, there's a bit of a spike right here. So what we'll do is filter out anything below 250. So you can see when I update that, it updates over here. And we could even pull it up a little further. And that's Spectrum and how you can use it to uh, EQ your uh, sounds and your tracks and give yourself a better mix down. Uh, if you have any questions or tips on how you use Spectrum, please leave them in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and thanks for checking out this video.